The White Husky is a majestic example of Arctic beauty, blessed with a pure white coat that gleams in the sunlight and glacial eyes that resemble frozen pools. It's difficult to ignore this dog's striking appearance. Moving nimbly through the snow, a white husky gives the impression of power and grace, reminiscent of its past sled-pulling heritage. If you are captivated by the looks of this dog, it's important that you take the time to look past the glacial eyes and pristine white coat. While it's easy to fall in love with a dog breed as strikingly beautiful as the Siberian Husky, it's fundamental to delve deeper into this breed's temperament, energy levels, and compatibility with your lifestyle before considering opening your heart and home to this beauty. Are White Siberian Huskies Rare? White Siberian Huskies are normal Siberian Huskies. The American Kennel Club accepts totally White Siberian Huskies, allowing them to be registered. Depending on where you live, you may not see them very often. If you live in an area where most Siberian Husky coat colors are black and white, gray and white, and red and white, coming across a totally white-colored specimen may feel like stumbling on a rarity in the midst of familiar hues. On the other hand, in some areas, white Huskies are a common sight, with many breeders having several white pups in their litter. While not exactly rare, the likelihood that you are to stumble on a white husky may vary based on several factors like where you live, the density of Siberian husky breeders in your area, and trends in the dog breeding community. Because white huskies may be less commonly seen in certain areas than those of other colors, this may lead to higher price tags due to the perception of rarity and demand. While it may be appealing to own a husky of an unusual coat color, it's important to use caution. Breeders who prioritize coat color over health and temperament risk compromising other important aspects, such as the overall well-being and quality of the breed they are raising. Are white huskies albino? Just because a dog has white fur doesn't automatically mean he is an albino. Albino refers to the complete lack of melanin, the pigment known for giving the skin, fur, and eyes their color. When a dog is albino, it will be white and will have pale pink or red eyes. A purebred Siberian Husky, according to American Kennel Club standard for the Siberian Husky breed, will have eyes that are blue or brown or even one eye of each color. White Huskies are also expected to have black liver or flesh-colored noses. The White Siberian Husky is, therefore, not an albino because affected dogs retain pigment in their nose, lips, eye rims, and paw pads. The genetics behind a Siberian Husky's white coat color. A Siberian Husky's white coat occurs when there is a mutation at the MC1R gene, which is responsible for the production of pigments such as eumelanin, black, and pheomelanin, red-yellow, known as the E locus. The E locus, also known as the extension locus, plays a main role in determining the distribution of eumelanin, the pigment responsible for the black and brown colors seen in a dog's coat. Within the E locus gene are two primary alleles, E and E, which play a main role in the production of eumelanin and consequently, the coat color of a dog. When huskies have two copies of E, it makes them unable to produce black or brown pigment, melanin, but only red or yellow pigment, pheomelanin. Being recessive red, E, therefore, causes the dog's coat to appear yellow cream to pure white. White specimens are low-intensity E. Some will have a cream cast to their coats that tends to intensify as the huskies age. This buff color may be evident along the middle of the back, back hocks, upper side of the tail, and ears of adults. While these cream-colored dogs are called white, fanciers may prefer to call them Isabella White, so as to point out the presence of a distinct yellow cast. These are basically an E with a tint. In other words, almost white, but not totally white. How are white Siberian Huskies produced? White Huskies are produced by breeding two all-white Siberian Huskies that have two copies of the recessive E allele, E, or breeding a white and an E carrier or two E carriers. What's the difference between a solid white Husky and an Isabella Husky? Isabella white is a term used to depict a coat color that consists of an off-white, light cream, caused by the dilution of pheomelanin, red. These dogs are technically an EE white, only that rather than being entirely white, their coats have a cream-like hue to them. While there doesn't seem to be an official consensus about nose color, the American Kennel Club refers to black or liver brown points as the main differentiating factors. Points is a term used to describe a dog's pigmentation of the lips, nose, and eyes. The AKC refers to an Isabella White as a cream-colored husky with dilute pigment points such as liver or brown, whereas a white husky is expected to have black points. 
However, it's important to rule out a winter nose or snow nose, which is a temporary discoloration during the colder months. Most likely, there are two types of whites in Huskies. The brown-based one, Isabella white with brown points, and the black-based one, white with black points. 10 facts about white Siberian Huskies you need to know before owning one. Like Siberian Huskies of other colors, the white Husky shares several breed-specific traits that you need to be aware of. Adding a Husky to your home is not a decision to be made lightly. There are many Huskies surrendered to shelters due to a general misunderstanding of this breed's quirks and needs. Here are some important Siberian Husky facts you need to know. On the need for speed, the Siberian Husky was selectively bred by the Chukchi people of Northeastern Asia to be quick and light on their feet so as to carry light loads at fast speeds. With a breed bred for endurance, high energy levels are the norm, not the exception. So don't expect a walk around the block to cut it in this breed. These dogs thrive on exercise, and the best way to make Huskies happy is to let them run, run, and run. Just make sure you have your running shoes on and organize a pit stop for water. Caution! If you own a puppy, please consult with your vet before involving your husky in an exercise regimen. You don't want to cause damage to delicate growth plates. 2. An independent spirit Are you dreaming about a biddable dog who follows you around like a personal shadow waiting to fulfill your every wish? While happy to please, with the right incentive, a husky's independent spirit may at times challenge your ingenuity. 3. Not a one-man dog If you are looking for loyalty, a white husky, or any other coat-colored husky for that matter, is not the breed for you. Free-spirited and social, huskies will greet people cordially and may be willing to even accompany them home and say sayonara given the chance. 4. Poor guardians of the home A husky's social nature translates into a dog who will befriend everybody he meets, and that includes strangers. Don't rely on your husky to act as a bodyguard for your property. Given the opportunity, he may even invite strangers over for a movie and some popcorn. 5. The Best Escape Artists Siberian Huskies are the Houdini of the canine world. They are capable of turning any enclosure, including your fenced yard, into their very own escape-themed magic show. A fence is simply a puzzle for them to solve. They'll try to dig under, jump over, or fit through the smallest gaps. 6. Strong Prey Drive While Siberian Huskies may be taught to live with cats from early puppyhood, it's important to be aware that Huskies have a built-in GPS for chasing squirrels, birds, hamsters, and cats. Free of body odors, one big advantage of Siberian Huskies is that they are fastidiously clean and lack the typical doggy body odor that many dog owners complain about. Their coats are also easy to care for, just requiring regular brushing without worrying about complicated hairdos with frequent clippings and trimmings. Dog prone to shedding. While an odor-free and easy-to-care-for coat sounds appealing, you may struggle to cope with this breed's predisposition for shedding. It's called blowing the coat, and it gets worse at certain times of the year when it may feel as if a fluffy hurricane has passed through. A humorous statement from many Husky owners is that shedding in Huskies happens only twice a year for six months. Ina desire to dig. If your Husky is bored and spends most of his time in the yard, expect it to start gradually resembling more and more planet Mars. Digging big craters is a pastime that many Siberian Huskies love engaging in, but you can avoid catastrophic landscape transformations by fencing a spot just for him so he can dig to his heart's content. 10. Prone to being vocal Have you ever heard of doggy karaoke? Maybe not, huh? Well, it's a real thing when it comes to the Siberian Husky breed. Variety is the spice of life with this breed. Huskies don't only bark, they also talk, yodel, howl, whine, mutter, chatter, and even woo-woo. Life is never dull with these guys. Want more info about white Huskies? When it comes to owning a white Siberian Husky, there are some extra things to be aware of. Prone to getting dirty. With a Husky's love for digging and rolling in mud, especially when it's hot, you may find yourself getting upset when that pristine white coat turns into an exhibit made of mud. The good thing is that some Huskies will lick themselves clean in no time. Do white Siberian Huskies suffer from deafness? White Huskies who are white due to EE don't have a high risk of becoming deaf due to the fact that they still have functional melanocytes, pigment cells. Deafness in dogs takes place when the cells responsible for creating pigment are missing, causing some parts to not develop properly. According to research, deafness in dogs with white coats is mostly associated with piebald markings or merle genes. There are no merles in purebred huskies. More specifically, the recessive alleles of the piebald gene, S, 
and the dominant allele of the Merl gene, M, are the ones associated with deafness due to a lack of melanocytes. Surprisingly, according to a study, albinism does not usually have an association with deafness. Caution with white Siberian husky breeders. Since humans have started selectively breeding dogs, dogs with distinct colors and unusual markings are highly valued, warranting higher sale prices. If you are specifically looking for a white husky, be wary of breeders who are primarily breeding for coat color. Breeders who do so are often looking for profits and cut corners on testing for health and genetic disorders. Look for a good breeder who does hip and eye checks and is committed to a healthy lineage. How much do white huskies cost? A white Siberian Husky should cost the same as Huskies of other colors. Anyone who increases prices for color or claims that white Huskies are rare should raise a red flag. A high price tag may be only justified because the dog is of show quality, coming from champion bloodlines and bred by a reputable breeder for excellent health and therefore offering full health guarantees. The price of white Huskies may vary a lot, but in general, they may cost anywhere between $500 and $1,500 though show lines can cost even more. Looking for a husky, don't forget to visit your local shelter. Sadly, Siberian huskies are often surrendered, so it's not unusual to see them in shelters, and there are rescue organizations willing to help you find the dog of your dreams.